Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equation. So now I will show you how to answer. So we divide both sides by dt. Next, we divide by x. Next, we divide by h square. Now, in this situation, that is about Bernoulli's equation. So I will put about v equal to 1 over h square. So if we do first the derivative for the both side, we have dv over dt equals to negative number 2 over h to the power of 3 dh over dt. Because we don't have the negative sign from here, so we put the negative next to dv over dt. Now, we need to change everything in here. The h over dt with number 2 over h to the power of 3, we change for negative dv over dt. This one we change for v. Next, we divide both sides by negative t. So we put negative number 1 go to the right. So we have v and r, v and first derivative of the function of v. So we can use about interacting factor. So I will have mu h equals to e to the power of the interaction. We see that we have negative 2 over t, so we put this one going here. So we have, ah, uh, this is about t, sorry. So this one, we will have e to the power of negative 2 ln t. So we put the negative number 2 go inside of our natural law in here. And we have 1 over t square. So we multiply both sides by this one. So this one we have 2 over t to the power of 3. Next, we need to put the interaction for the both side. So the interaction in here, we will have 1 over t square multiplied by v. The interaction of this one, we have negative 1 over t plus c. So we multiply both sides by t square.
So this one we have t about v. That's a about this one. That's a about one over h square. Next, we have the condition. So, we put S is equal to number 1, T equals to number 2 to find the constant, constant C in here. So, we put number 1 in here, number 2 in here, number 2 in here. So we have 1 equals to negative number 2 plus 4c and we find the solution of c equals to 3 over 4. So we put 3 over 4 in here and we put this one go to the left edge square go to the right. So we put the square root for the both sides. And we put positive and negative in here. And this is the final answer we need to find in here. Because the condition that provide positive and negative, so we need to eliminate uh, the negative side in here. So we just have only positive, and that should be about the answer.